For more than 50 years, an annual festival has been an end of summer tradition and it's back this weekend. Over the years, the Arts and Apples Festival in Rochester has drawn families and people of all ages to the rolling acres of Municipal Park. The event is huge. They come for just what's in the title, arts, apples, and more. We are joined by Chris Tanana with the Paint Creek Center for the Arts. What's going on there, Chris? Hi, Jason. Good morning. How are you? I'm doing very well. Uh, my wife and I hosted the apple uh, pie baking contest there for a number of years. Love art and apples in Rochester, the, the venue, the setting. It's just, it's amazing. It's like stepping out of a painting, right? Yeah, it's very nice. It's a great venue and it's uh, right near downtown uh, Rochester, so it's very convenient. But uh, let me give you a little rundown of what we got going on this year. So this is our 55th annual uh, Art and Apples Festival. We're going to feature about 200 uh, national and local artists, all of which are juried, which means we're selecting the best of the best. Um, if you look around me, we've got some examples of the type of art that you're going to see at the festival. So we've got a, all the art media really that's going to be represented, but we also have something for every price point. So if you want to buy a $20 print all the way up to a $10,000 uh, original piece of work, you can do that. So we've really got something for everyone. Um, on the food side, we've got 20 uh, vendors that are going to be offering a variety of foods. You know, every year we try to add something new. Uh, this year we have a cinnamon truck, we have freaking good cookies, we have Mr. Pitt barbecue, and we have a local Rochester coffee house called Desert Oasis. So I think I'm going to be hitting all four of those this weekend. They sound good. But uh, we also have the Meyer Kids Art Zone. Uh, for some of our younger patrons to get involved in some art making, and we'll have some other fun activities for them also, and that's free of charge. Uh, we'll also have some demonstrating artists, so glass blowing, for example, ceramics, painting. And then finally, we've got a full entertainment lineup for the weekend, uh, and that'll be on our DTE main stage. So that's kind of the festival in a nutshell, but there's a lot going on, as you know. Yeah, I hear that you're going to be bartending, and you make a mean <laughs> tomato <laughs> daiquiri. <laughs> Very funny, very funny. Unfortunately, we can't. Unfortunately, we can't serve alcohol there, but that sounds pretty good. All right, you brought us this uh, beautiful glass pumpkin, uh, glass blowing, a big attraction. So th I, this is amazing. This was actually crafted by an artiste, and we have some cookies back there too. Tell us about the cookies. Yeah. So the glass pumpkin, actually, that's Chris Everett did that. One of our artists at the. Uh, Festival. He's actually going to be doing the glass blowing demonstrations, but uh, he ha it's really uh, one of the popular items at the festival. And he'll have several colors, um, he'll have different sizes. I think they start at about $30, $40 a piece. So, um, very nice um, glass blowing craftsmanship. And then the cookies, yeah, those are, that's something new. That company was started uh, actually uh, during the, the pandemic in Ferndale. And I, I understand it's kind of a grandmother's recipe type of thing and the cookies sell out every day. So we're glad to have them at the festival this year. You know, I have to say after all the years that I've been going out there that the one art festival uh, around these parts that where there's always something unique is your festival. I remember I walked around the corner one year and an artist had used paint chips from Home Depot to collage a portrait. I thought, wow, and her name's Jennifer Lashbrook. She's out of Texas. I'd never seen anything like that. And, and it routinely happens at your event. Yeah, we, uh, we attract some great artists. You know, uh, we, we received, uh, of all the thousands of art shows across the country every year, uh, the Art and Apples Festival was awarded uh, top 10 art show of the decade by Sunshine Artists Magazine. So I we're, believe we're it. Really all right, that's our time. Remind everybody where and when. Okay, so it starts tomorrow at 2 o'clock and it'll wrap up Sunday at 4 p.m. Again, it's at the uh, Rochester Municipal Park, and that's just a, a short walk from downtown Rochester. Good stuff. Thanks for joining us. Thank you, Jason.